Now we'll see there are some interesting conclusions to be drawn from whatever we have done till now. Okay? So there are, there are some interesting conclusions. One of these conclusions we have already discussed but I'd like to emphasize again here because that is a very very important thing. If A and B are perpendicular to each other, then what will happen? If A and B are perpendicular to each other, what happens? <coughs> then A dot B becomes mod A mod B cos 90. That is 0. This is something that will be of tremendous, tremendous important when we go to the 3D. Okay, when we go to the 3D, this will be hugely important. A very simple thing to understand, but I am re-emphasizing it. Okay. Okay, the projection part we have already done. So, that we have already done still. Projection of a on B is A dot B cap. Whatever it is on becomes a unit vector. If theta is equal to 0, if theta is equal to 0, if theta is equal to 0, then projection of A is A itself, is it not? Because it will be A dot A cap, no? A on A. That means if, if, if my vector is along the same direction as the line, if my vector is in the same direction as the line, what happens? It will become A dot A cap. A on A cap, right? If this is A, then it projects along the same, so, so it, it remains the same, A dot A cap. If theta is equal to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2, the way we define it, not for dot product, for dot product you always define it as the smaller angle, okay? So, so, say if, if there are two vectors which are like this or maybe it is something like this, then the projection of A on B is what? In both the cases, the projection of A on B is A dot A dot B which is equal to A dot B cap which is 0. So the projection is 0. Important to understand. Now comes another important thing. If this is the fifth one. If A is A1 I cap plus a 2 j cap plus a 3 k cap and alpha, beta, gamma are direction angles. Direction angles then then let us understand what is A dot I cap. Let us try to understand. I dot this with 
i cap so actually i am doing this this is a1 i dot i cap distributive property a2 j cap i dot i uh, j cap dot i cap plus a3 k cap dot i cap now j cap dot i cap is zero k cap dot i cap is zero i dot i cap dot i cap is one so it is a one okay now what is the left hand side a dot i is nothing but mod a into mod i cap okay and what is the angle that a makes with x axis that is what you call the direction angle alpha so into cos alpha now that gives me what that gives me what what is mod a cap mod a cap is a mod i cap is 1 into cos alpha is equal to a1 so cos alpha is a1 upon a similarly if you dot it with j it becomes cos beta so cos beta becomes what a2 upon a and cos gamma becomes a3 upon a so this is your lmn do they sum to zero they should check it check it will they will they sum to one what i said what i what what i right now said is zero they squared and summed together they'll be one sorry sorry for that so cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is what? A1 square upon A square plus A2 square upon A square plus A3 square upon A square. That is A1 square plus A2 square plus A3 square upon A square. And what is this? This we have been doing to be A square. This is A square. This is 1. Yes, it is. So they do qualify for being the direction cosines, correct? We understand. So that is a, since a1 is equal to a2 since equal to a2.
Chico.